Okay, this is everything in the wireless bridge kit, okay? And you have instructions on how to hook up switches, security cameras, laptops, and PCs. You get two Cat5 cables and two ring clamps in order to clamp your devices to a pole or another piece of furniture. This is for the best positioning. And finally, you get two PoE adapters to power each device. If you have no barriers in the way, you can get up to 300 MPS and it goes over a mile and a half in range. This is great for repeaters and wireless extenders. So let's pair them up and see how easy it is. First, open the bottom of the device to access the inputs and the controls. Next, plug in the Cat5 cable in the LAN input. Turn on the AB switch to A for the master. Take the other end of the plug and plug it into the PoE side of the AC adapter. This will power the system. Next, take your internet cable and plug that into the other port. Next, we're going to set up the slave device. Basically, you're doing the same thing, except the AB switch should be turned to B for the slave device. The internet cable goes into the LAN 1, and then the other end goes into the PoE on the adapter. And then all you have to do is just plug it in and wait for them to communicate to each other and pair. And be sure they're on the same channel. The next thing that you want to do is take your Ethernet cable and plug it in to the other LAN outlet and then have your PC and your laptop connected. You can see if you're connected to the Internet by the uh, bottom right hand corner on your PC or uh, you can also go to Google and see if you're connected and your speed. So as you can see everything's connected and communicating. I got some really good speed out here considering it's a lot of walls.